I'm now going to show you how the RSI works and how it works differently. You'll see a lot of people want to get different numbers. We have a 7, 3, and a 14 here. Um, these are very jerky. They're very, very difficult to trade if you're trading the ups and downs. If you're even trading the crosses, they work relatively well, but they don't tell you when you should reverse or get out necessarily. Um, and the difference in the length doesn't seem to make much of a difference. And once you get a big downtrend, you don't really get anything pegged at the bottom. Again, this is an oscillator. You get it pegged b between the uh, midpoint and the bottom line. And every time it turns around, you're going to get a turnaround or you're not going to get a turnaround. So this is being recorded live and you can see that it's very difficult to use. If I switch from a tick chart to a time chart, uh, you did have the peak up here and you're down here, you hit the bottom. Uh, you might have made a nice trade there, but again, you can see how jerky this is. It's very, very difficult to use uh, for accurate uh, day trading methods. So let's take a look now at the CCI. Now here are different sequences of the CCI. Here's a 14 and here's a 6. Uh, popularized by a lot of people. We're on the five minute chart again. Uh, there's only a few spots where here the CCI popped above but the market was flat. It popped above on a different time frame on the 14 up here and gave you a pretty good signal to the bottom. Uh, you would have picked up um, actually quite a few points from 61 to 56 but trying to interpret all of these things and this is a combination of the 14 and the 6 together uh, make it again in my opinion very difficult to read so as we move forward um, you know, on a 5 minute chart these are pretty big bars now let me uh, switch to a different time frame here we are on a shorter tick chart time frame and again, we got a lot of confusion. Now, you might have caught this drop at this point, okay, on the 7, but you wouldn't have uh, gotten there on the other way. Now, I'm sorry, this is the RSI. Let me stop that. Sorry, here's the CCI, and the CCI never went above uh, its 80% level, which is one of the standard trading patterns. If you're trying to trade this, you got no idea where you are, and it doesn't matter what the time... Um, calculations are 6 or 14 or combination thereof it's very difficult um, so I've never found this to be a very effective tool so I hope this helps on some of these indicators I could put uh, tons of them on here they all give you the same problem uh, I am going to show you a combination of our indicators next this is Bill McCready for Futures Trading Secrets